Hey everyone, I'm here to talk to you about hosting a virtual research orientation. Now, just as with our common practice, you're going to receive a calendar invite to the orientation through your Outlook account. The calendar invite lets you know who the instructor is, the time and date of the orientation, and what they'll be expecting you to cover. It will not include the Zoom link. In order to get to the Zoom, you're going to need to enter the instructor's Canvas shell. On the homepage of the college, you can find the link to Canvas, and clicking on the Canvas login button will prompt you to enter in your ID number and password. Now, Canvas is where all of the online learning takes place for students uh, and all of the instructors while we're in social distancing. So you're going to need to log into Canvas and look for the course that you've been enrolled in. I'm going to talk to the instructor ahead of time and enroll us into their course, both you, the presenting librarian, and me, the support librarian. So you will actually see the course on your Canvas dashboard. In the example of this video, we're going to pretend that Library 230 is the class that we need to do an orientation for. So when you log into Canvas, click on that class, and now once you're inside that instructor's shell, you're going to look on the left hand side under the navigation links for a link called Confer Zoom. So this is what you need to click on in order to get into the Zoom world within the course. So finally, this is where you will access the Zoom for the orientation. When an orientation has been scheduled, you'll see it appear under this upcoming events area. It will actually be a link that says join. Otherwise, you can also see it on the calendar of events. But what you're going to be um, keeping in mind is that I will talk to the instructor and get them to enroll us into the Canvas show, so you don't have to worry about that. And if I need to, I will go in and schedule the orientation on your behalf. So you don't have to worry about scheduling or anything like that. This is just an example of what it looks like to schedule a Zoom session in a course. I'm just going to create it as research or orientation and schedule it for the day and time and click save. So now you can see that this is an event that's upcoming. And as an instructor or teacher in the class, you can prepare. And when that is the day and time, instead of prepare, it will say join. You'll just click join and then you'll be in the Zoom session. You'll see students, you'll see your instructor, and you'll see me, and you can get going on the orientation. So this link here lets you access resources that our OLET department at Long Beach City College has put together. It's pretty text heavy at first, but what I would recommend doing is just scrolling down to getting to the video guides that they have created. Let's click on one of these and we'll see an example. All right, and so once you come on session, um, a few things are going to take place. Uh, you will be able to see all of your settings. So right now, um, my video is actually made. Okay, so this is settings. Laura Rontala in the OLED department. She's walking you through how to access Zoom settings. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you're going to be navigating the chat. You're going to be seeing students in the online world. You're going to be sharing your screen. So use those OLED videos to learn how to do all of that. Also, you can get in touch with me. We can do a one-on-one, -on -one and I can walk you through what it's going to look like. In the half dozen or so orientations we've done, there have been some technical hiccups and issues, so it definitely helps to pair up on orientations to have a backup. And most of all, just have fun. I'll be there with you to help you out, and this is all about student success, so let's go for it.